WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 417, NASDAQ up 307, S&P's up by 71. Let's go over the NQs for a second, because for you folks that trade the NQs, there's a trade here right now uh, that I suspect, uh, you know, it like a quick little, quick little trade, it should be pretty cool. So check this out, whoops, let's do this quick. Okay, so we pull this up. What you're gonna see, see this morning, we came, when we came down, we came down to that, that 13,237. Well, the top of that is 13,290. This leg right here, I suspect it's gonna take us at least to the 290. Uh, if this comes into the close, that this this into the close is game between the uh, 30, 13,290 and 13,237. That's why I suspect it's going to go like right now. That's why I brought that up first. So uh, we have divergence between the S&P and the NASDAQ. The, the NASDAQ, if you're going to be basically pulling shots, do it on the NASDAQ, man. The NASDAQ's much cheaper. Not much cheaper. I mean much weaker. Um, you know, and the, on the SPY, what you have on the SPY is that the SPY is over its high. You're going to have volume. Um, bottom line, you very, very well may have an ABC structure on the way up. NDX is a problem. Um, currency, um, it's got a clear path, man. The bottom line with the currency, this is a decisive break in a, in a monster way, too. Uh, you know, we just, uh, you know, bottom line, it's when you, when you break with wide price spread, uh, your probability goes much higher than it's a valid break. So I suspect the dollar is going to start making its way down to this 97 area. And uh, what that will do is going to put a huge relief on the S&Ps, on commodities in general. Now, let's go over to the 10-year and take a look at the 10-year. What the 10-year is out here, 10-year right now is trading up seven ticks. You're trading at a price point of uh, 119.22. You had 1.49 million contracts. Now, realistically, this thing should probably have about 2 million. That being said, though, this is decent volume. Not great volume, but it's decent volume. You know, uh, so we'll see where that shakes out. My take is that this thing wants to go up to somewhere about 124. That's how this is laying out right now. If you take a look at the 10-year, you're yielding right now 2.86. And the bottom line is that, uh, you know, the CPI numbers come out this morning. They come out slightly below uh, what uh, everyone was looking for. And, you know, bottom line, I suspect, um, you know, that we've, we have peaked. You know, the real question is that that doesn't mean that prices are not keep going up, but we've peaked. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.